showing their support for the Proteas. Pupils at this school in Johannesburg were in good voice as they looked to demonstrate their pride and unity with South Africa's cricket team. The children were even allowed to watch some of the action and there in no doubt the Proteas would beat New Zealand and reach the final of the Cricket World Cup. I think South Africa is going to win because they've got a really good team and they've scored lots of runs so far. Number one, we've got Dave De Villers, the, one of the world's best cricket players in the world, and we're South Africa. That's all you need to know. At a hotel in Santon, fans gathered to watch the match at a rooftop restaurant. In scenes mirrored across the country, each ball brought agony and ecstasy. It was a nail-biting dramatic contest, but in the end, South Africa came up just short. South Africans will be very disappointed, but at the same time, you need to be proud of what, you know, the way they've gone about it, um, the way they really took on board the, the chokers tag, um, which I think at times is really unfounded. Uh, but the way they played and the, the ambassadors they were for South Africa was magnificent. Although the team performed well, the dropped catches and near runouts proved costly. If we're quite frank and honest with ourselves, uh, those players that, that dropped those catches or missed those run up, you know, they will go to their room tonight uh, and I promise you they won't sleep um, because they know that there were massive expectations from a, from a country's point of view, from a fan's point of view and also from their own point of view. And, and they will really know that they've let themselves down and they've let the country down. So once again, it's a case of so near yet so far for South Africa at a Cricket World Cup. Their return here bitterly disappointed that they fell short of their target. And once the dust settles, so the questions will begin. Uh, I think there will be changes. Some of the guys might not play. I don't think Delstein will make another World Cup. Um, you know, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of batters that, that's in their 30s already. You know, so um, there's some big decisions to make, big, big rebuilding to happen once more. But I really, really thought this team that we sent this time around were probably the best we've sent to a World Cup. The Proteas left South Africa to a fanfare. And although they can return with their heads held high, the team can expect a more subdued welcome home. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.